Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now today's a Friday, and we all know you're supposed to eat fish on a Friday, aren't you? But today, I'm not going out for fish and chips. I've treated myself. So I've been to Marks and Spencer's Food Hall, and I've picked up one of their 12 pound gastro pub deals. Now this is supposed to serve two people, so I'll be making two plates out of it. And I've got two fishy options. So the deal with these gastro pub deals is that for £12, you'll get a main course, a side dish, and your pick of either a starter or a dessert. I've gone with a starter. I like my savoury food more than I like my desserts. Let's go and have a little look what I've got. So here we are, folks. This is what I'm going to be making for my lunch today. We'll start over here with the starter. So this is their best ever prawn cocktail. So there's two little pots in there. If I can just move that so you can see a little bit better inside. Nice little prawn cocktail there. Apparently it's a combination of meaty Honduran king prawns and sweet Atlantic prawns. All with a nice little sauce and a bit of a greenery, I suppose. Main course, buttery and creamy fish pie. Now this takes a little while to cook in the oven. Uh, it's an 800 gram portion, so it serves two people. It's the size of two regular ready meals. Expensive, mind. Um, if you buy this on its own, it's 11 quid. Wowzers. <laughs> but as part of this deal, like I say, I've paid £12 for everything. And the side dish I picked to go with it, tender stem broccoli, petit pois and cavolo nero. There's some nice green veg that's with a salt and pepper butter in there. And that should make a very nice accompaniment to the fish pie. So I'm going to cook the fish pie in the air fryer rather than the oven. It says it takes about 45-50 minutes, but it'll probably be a bit less than that in the air fryer, won't it? Let's get it underway. Right, so I've just heated up the air fryer. I'm going to get this uh, fish pie in there now. Just to let you know, it's a smoked haddock, king prawn, cod and Scottish salmon mixture in a cheesy sauce topped with mashed potato and a parsley crumb. You can see the crumb there on the top. It's going to add a lovely little crunch as that cooks up in the air fryer and those little peaks of mash should go all kind of gnarly and brown, hopefully. And like I say, it's supposed to take about 45 minutes. I reckon it'll probably take about 30, 35 in the air fryer. The veg will only take three minutes, mind, so I'll just keep an eye on the, the pie and put the veg in right near the end. Right, so while that pie is cooking up, it's time to try my starter out. Like I said, we have these two little pots here with their best ever prawn cocktail. 85 grams in a pot. Now these were £6.50 if I remember rightly, if you were to buy them by themselves. I don't imagine many people are doing that. I guess you're going to do it just as part of the deal. And let's get it opened up and take a look at what we're dealing with here. So, two little plastic pots which you can't seem to snap apart, which is a little bit odd. <laughs> there they are. So it is actually just the prawn cocktail. It doesn't look like there's salad in there. It's just the, uh, the prawns and the sauce. So that's interesting. Let me go and get a pair of scissors, and we'll get this cut apart so I can just try one of them. Don't need both, do I? Good Lord. Okay, I'm back with the scissors. Here we go. Let's just cut that down the middle. Put one to one side and we'll just open one of these up. So it's in a little, fairly solid plastic container, not a glass one. Have a little look. There we are, some nice juicy king prawns on display on the top there. I guess they're there to look pretty with a little bit of parsley or something on the top. And I guess the Atlantic prawns, the smaller prawns, will be tucked underneath in amongst the sauce. Quite a small little portion, but it is only a starter, isn't it? So hopefully it tastes good. All right, so according to the packaging, it mentions again there's Honduran king prawns, Atlantic uh, regular prawns, and the sauce is brandy infused Mary Rose sauce, which is the original kind of classic, isn't it? So let's just try one of these king prawns first on its own because they're not mixed into the sauce. Nice plump looking there. That's a good looking prawn, isn't it? 
I do like a king prawn. So let's see how it is. Hmm. Nice and fresh tasting. That lovely delicate kind of mild king prawn flavour there. Not too fishy, which uh, obviously denotes the fact that it's fresh enough. Let's get it all mixed in together a little bit though. Let's get some of these little prawns from underneath. So I'll pull that out so you can see the difference. There we go. Our camera doesn't seem to want to focus on these prawns, but they're just a little pile of prawns. Mm. The sauce. It's a little bland, if I'm honest. Um, when I make prawn cocktail, I put a good whack of paprika in there, lots of lemon juice. I don't tend to go with brandy, I don't think it makes any difference. But um, yeah, it's just a little bit flat tasting, perhaps. The prawns are nice and juicy, they really are. So like I say, the sauce could just do with a little bit more oomph. Maybe a crack of black pepper, a squeeze of lemon juice, I mean they're things you can all do at home I guess. And it does kind of miss having that salad element to it. Again, I guess you could just chop up a little bit of lettuce and add that. Hmm. I mean it's pleasant enough. But, like I say, £6.50 if you buy these on their own for two little portions. Just expect a little bit more, really. But as part of this deal, like I say, for 12 quid for everything, you know, maybe we'd say this is three quid's worth or whatever. It's not bad. I mean, I'm eating it. <laughs> so it can't be bad, can it? Yeah, I just expected a bit more M&S. Okay, folks, so lunch is served. Here is that luxury fish pie with a very nice, vibrant-looking green selection of vegetables. Take a closer look. Right, so this took a little less time than I expected even. I put it in for 35 minutes and it was done before then even. So cooking it in the air fryer definitely saves some time and some energy. So let's start with the fish pie first. I'm going to take some of this mash with the little crispy crumb on the top there. There we go. As you can see, it's quite well done. It smells like crispy mash. <laughs> Mm. The texture is nice, that crumb is kind of, not hard, but gives a little crunch. A little bland though on the mash, has to be said, not that well seasoned. Let's try another bit, just in case I got unlucky. No, which, again, a bit like the um, prawn cocktail I have. Just a little lacking in, in flavour. Some salt and pepper in the mash would have helped that. No end, I'm sure. But right, let's dig into some of the sauce then. If I move the mash out of the way, there we go. We get a nice bit of the sauce here. So I can see there's a king prawn in amongst there. I think there's, there's cod, there's haddock, and salmon in this pie. Nice texture from that king prawn in there. Quite a delicate flavoured sauce. But again, seasoning. It's just missing seasoning. It's quite nice. The, the fish is in reasonable sized chunks. So you do get that nice fishy texture as you bite into it it's not too minced up or anything but yeah it's just the flavors lacking it really is let's try a bit of this salmon here see how that is so again you can see here quite a nice chunk of salmon there in the pie I actually got salmon and prawn 
Mm. So that's a nice, nice taste of the salmon. But it's just missing something. Again, a squeeze of lemon in the sauce. A good crack of salt and pepper. That would elevate that into something a lot better. And the one thing I will say, when you put <coughs> the mash and the pie together, it just feels a little dry perhaps. Not quite enough sauce. Hmm. Yeah. It's nice enough, don't get me wrong, it's not unpleasant to eat. But I, it's not an 11 quid fish party, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, it just, uh, just needs tweaking, just needs elevating. Right, let's try this veg. So we've got Cavallo Nero in here. We have got tender stem broccoli and a little petit pois. So we'll get a little bit of everything, kind of shovel it all onto the fork there. And see how that is. So this supposedly comes with a salt and pepper butter. And there we go. Nice kind of vibrant green colours there. So the broccoli still has a little bit of bite to it. There's that real kind of earthy, irony flavour from the Cavallo Nero. And the sweetness from the peas. But again, when they've advertised this as having salt and pepper butter in it, quite often you'll get like a garlic and herb butter or something like that when they get to do these little veggie mixes. It just tastes under seasoned. It really does. Yeah, I know I can add my own seasoning here afterwards, but with things like a pie, you need to get that flavour into the pie. Yeah. I mean, like I say, compared to some of the things at MS, getting this as a deal for £12, a starter and a main course, I mean, not the world's biggest main course, but a main course nonetheless, because a starter and a main course for £12 for two people isn't bad. But, I mean, is it any, is it any better than anything that Tesco or Asda would offer? I don't know. I'm not sure it is, to be honest. Well then, folks, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this. I think visually, very attractive looking. Uh, it looked good before I cooked it. The, the mash and the crumb on top of the pie, very nicely put together. Cooked up nicely. Looked really appealing. And the same with the uh, the veg there. The, the green colours, nice contrast between the lighter green of the peas and the darker green of the Cavallo Nero. Look very attractive. Just taste-wise, lacking for me. Would I get that again? I wouldn't. I think there are far tastier things out there that you could get for less money than that. One thing I did notice when I was in M&S is they've got a, a pie meal where you can pick two individual pies and three sides for a tenner. So I might go back one day and pick that up, uh, see if we can get something a bit hearty. Pie, mash, some kind of veg and some gravy, that sort of thing. That might be quite nice. This, nice enough, but not worth the money. A bit disappointing. Okay, folks, so I know for next time, next time I wanna do a fishy special, I'm back down to chippy again. <laughs> better value, better tasting. Anyway, that's it from me for today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget, click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and that way you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.